sure you guys have noticed this morning that Rody has changed the Home Depot drop times yet again. Now, I don't usually see the drop times for the five o'clock because that's usually the time when I'm up. This person needs to move. That's usually the time when I'm up making videos for my other channel. So I don't care about the five o'clock drop. I have my alarm set at 6.49 so I can make sure that I have my phone in my hand for the 6.50 Home Depot drop. There were absolutely no drops in New Jersey or New York City. None. Everywhere else had Home Depot drops, but not New York and New Jersey. I don't understand what was going on with that. You know, I found out it was very, very weird. And I don't know why, but one of y'all had emailed me seven o'clock in the morning talking about there's no roadie, there's no um, Home Depot gigs. I'm like, you know, like, let's not do that. You know, I don't want to get emails from y'all seven o'clock in the morning talking about there's no home, there's no roadie gigs on the board. I'm like, I'm, I don't do, I don't control roadie. So I'm not the person to look at for that. But uh, seven o'clock did hit and that's when the, I guess the first round of Home Depot orders came out. I'm not sure if that's the first anymore, but yeah, so seven o'clock seems to be the new drop time. I'm sure you guys have noticed this morning that Rody has changed the Home Depot drop times yet again. Now, I don't usually see the drop times for the five o'clock because that's usually the time when I'm up this person needs to move. That's usually time when I'm up making videos for my other channel, so I don't care about the five o'clock drop. I have my alarm set at 6.49 so I can make sure that I have my phone in my hand for the 6.50 Home Depot drop. There were absolutely no drops in New Jersey or New York City, none. Everywhere else had Home Depot drops, but not New York and New Jersey. I don't understand what was going on with that. You know, I found out it was very, very weird. And I don't know why, but one of y'all had emailed me seven o'clock in the morning talking about there's no roadie, there's no um, Home Depot gigs. I'm like, you know, like, let's not do that. You know, I don't want to get emails from y'all seven o'clock in the morning talking about there's no home, there's no roadie gigs on the board. I'm like, I'm, I don't do, I don't control roadie. So I'm not the person to look at for that. But, uh, seven o'clock did hit and that's when the I guess the first round of Home Depot orders came out I'm not sure if that's the first anymore, but Yeah, so seven o'clock seems to be the new drop time I also have an alarm set for 934 for the 935 drop time at Home Depot again nothing but right now it is 945 and there are Home Depot orders popping up on the map right now so they probably pushed the start times back yet again. I'm not sure. I don't know why this bro. People out here are so stupid. This dude's walking in the middle of the street while the traffic is coming. But yeah, I'm not sure what is going on with Rody. With Rody, I keep thinking Rody XD because I actually have Rody XD route that I'm going to right now. Oh, y'all just gonna have to watch the map and see what time these stuff these things pop up. So right now I'm headed to, like I said, a uh, Rody XD route. So this route is paying me $49. It's 16 deliveries for four miles. Now it actually isn't 16 deliveries, it's 16 packages, but it's only two deliveries. And I picked this route because it was on the board and I need to go make some money right now because I don't have anything from any of my direct shippers. Like I said, the Rody, uh, Home Depot drops change, so I'm gonna have to find out what times those come out now. Got a Instacart on, nothing from them, but I do have a job later on, probably in the afternoon. Someone wants me to pick up some type of playhouse that's outside and deliver it to the Glen Ridge. I worked for it before. I'm gonna charge it like 125 for that. And we'll see what else we got for the day. All right, we're back. What's this, TVs? Yep, all right. This is, that's good right there. So this one's going on one spot. Everything else is going to the exact same place. All right, cool. All right, load it up. Like I said, we got two stops. We got 
one box for one and then 15 TVs for another. Now I think Rodi is being extremely cheap because you know those TVs right there, like one of them would be like $24 if this was a Walmart gig. But it still is worth it because it's not gonna take me anywhere near an hour to deliver all these TVs. Next stop is at is a 10 minutes away, so let's go. Alright, drop number one. This box right here. Nice. Trying not to go upstairs. I really don't want to go to nobody's apartment, but I think it's on the first floor. One is for apartment one C. Uh, come on, this guy. You're welcome. All right, TV drop. It's only three minutes away. Yep. Next drop. Now, I don't know if anybody is here. So this is open, so let me see. Ah, yes, it is. Cool. Hello. Hello. I have a delivery, some 15 TVs. TVs? Uh -huh. I think so. For SMG? Yep. Right. Unless there's another company here. Um. Do you expect some TV? What size TV? I'm not sure. This, um, maybe 32. Do you expect some TV? Oh, quite uh, over the years. Huh? How many do you have? 15. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is it an eagle? Do you have the paperwork? Huh? Do you have the paperwork? No. No paperwork. Yeah, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh, you got TVs? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit to uh, scan them all. It's all right. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get that and I'll get to work. Well, let me see if they actually changed it. Nope. Same crap. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I got this one right here. All right, all yours. Right. Yep. All right, you have a nice day. You too. All right, well, we got that done. Rody, please change that crap because there's no reason why UPS can scan all those things at one time, deliver everything, but we can't. Like, that makes no freaking sense. I need to change that ASAP. Now, uh, my client, who I was actually supposed to have this afternoon, I actually told her that I was done doing what I was doing, so I told her that I can go head down right now to pick up what she wanted me to pick up and bring it to her right now. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, we got 45 minutes to get there. It's Ocean, New Jersey. Let's go. All right, we're here. Yeah. Yes. All right, set. Hi. Sure. Okay, so my camera fell down. I couldn't see nothing. Okay. So Pam said you might be putting it together, mm -hmm. and in that case, I can go over with you how to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is the base here. Okay. So this has to go in the ground. In the ground, like dig a hole in the ground. Yeah, like that deep, just oh so boy. that this is level with the ground. Okay. All right. And it's supposed to have. I don't know if she's got any 
of bricks in the corners here. One here, one over there, and one over there to mm -hmm. level it a little bit. Okay. Like that's up there, or rocks, something. Okay. All right. It's, you know, mostly put together. This is one half, that's the other half. Mm -hmm. um, these can move a little bit. Right. But not, not too much. much. They'll break off. I already broke one. I okay. Have to fix it. But, all right, so this is like that. And then you turn this one around and it goes in there. These are pretty light. You just, you know, I carry them and I'll help you get in. Okay. But you just got to be careful lifting them. I found this is the best way to do it. Okay. So that way you're controlling how much these sides bend. I mean, I right. could get a piece of scrap wood and screw it in here if you prefer. I don't think so. That way they don't move right there. But it's, yeah. you know, you're the professional. I'm not going to tell you how to move things. Okay. Um, I think we should do that okay. that piece first. Alright. Alright, we managed to make everything fit. And this thing is taking up the entire back of my van. So yeah, we got 56 minutes to get to the drop-off. Hopefully she's got someone here to help me because that the base is very, very heavy and sandy. So let's go. Alright, good. It had like the base in the ground. Yeah, but he it, said it has to go on the ground. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because when I talked to him, I thought he said like he wasn't sure. Did it? Because it, it seems sturdy enough that it could just like stand on top of the. Yeah, because it has its own platform. Right. So that's why. So I it might just it might not have to go on the ground. Yeah. Can we look at it just yeah. before we decide where to put it exactly? Uh, when he was like reviewing the like how the pieces go together. Did it seem like easy to you or does it seem really complicated? Yeah, it seemed easy. He said this was in the ground. Yeah. And these two pieces go together. They go on top of this and then this is gold on top of that. And this is okay. Well, all right, we are finished. Put this together all by myself. It wasn't really that hard. Just filing the holes that came in, putting a screw in them. Yeah, everything looks good here. I'm gonna try to get that. So this is tight. We are done for the day and my client actually gave me an extra $25 so we going home with the $150,000 in cash. But I do have to go put $50 on gas right now so you know, we almost made $200 today. A couple, couple cents short but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see y'all next time.